I want to read my own Psalm 91 book. Verse 1. This book is written just for you because God wants to protect you so you never have to be afraid again. God invites you to find a secret place where just the two of you meet each day. Verse 2 and 3. God wants you to say out loud, I trust you, Lord, and I know you're the one who protects me from harm. Verse 4. Have you ever seen an old mother hen cover her cheeks with her wings when the hawk flies down to hurt them? Under their mommy's wings, those chicks are safe. Did you know that if you trust God, God will hide you from harm and the old mean devil cannot touch you? Verse 5. There are some people in the world who are not nice. They do mean things and that makes God sad. But God does not want you to be afraid. He is stronger and powerful than the people who do bad things. Verse 6a. God does not want you to be afraid of some bad disease. Daughters are nice people that God is help sick people get well. But God is even more powerful than the doctors and he wants you to be healthy. Amen. Verse 6, B to 10. God does not want you to be afraid of some bad things like storms, thunder, car wrecks, or scary dark places. You will see bad things happening in the world, but God wants you to trust Him, so none of those evil things will harm you. Verse 11 to 12. Did you know that angels are real if you don't see them? God created the angels to watch over you and protect you. Remember to thank God every day for the angels that he sends to protect you from harm. Verse 13. When the devil tries to scare you, he's like a mean old lion or an angry snake, or a wicked dragon, when you're afraid, say a scripture verse out loud. Then the devil will leave because he does not like to hear God's word. <laughs> verse 14, God says, because Isaac loves me and is my friend. I will take her away from evil, and I will allow her to sit with me up high. It's fun when her daddy lifts you up high in his arms, but God will lift you up even higher. <laughs>
I believe that you die and rose again for me. And I want to live for you. So please come into my heart and make me your child. Forgive me for all the bad things I have done. And help me be a good person. That makes you happy. Thank you that I can live forever with you. I love you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.